Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am here in Disneyland Paris, just outside Hotel New York, Art of Marvel. Now Hotel New York closed in 2017, so it's been a while that it's been under renovation and yeah, it underwent a full-on re-theming and now it's called Hotel New York, Art of Marvel. So it's basically a Marvel hotel, the Art of Marvel. It's really, really cool. I'm standing outside the main entrance at the moment. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, take you on the journey, show you around the hotel, discover some of the new bits of it myself because I've not seen some stuff myself yet. So it'll be exciting. I'll try and go everywhere throughout the hotel, including the shops, um, the restaurants I'll have a look at. But if you want to see a full on video of me eating at those restaurants, that'd be a different video. But yeah, let's have a look at everything. Come along on the journey. I'm very, very excited to take you. So when you first get to Hotel New York Art of Marvel, this is the view that you will see. I love all the paint work that they've done on it over the past few years to make it look more fresh. They've added more burgundy and more reds across the building. So they've more or less kept the colors the same as it was beforehand, but they've just made it look a lot more vibrant. Of course, they've added like the Marvel theming as well on the logo over there on the entrance. And then here, as you can see, is just a lot of grass. And this is meant to be Central Park. So obviously because it's Hotel New York still, they do want to add or keep some of the New York theming of it as well. And um, yeah, they've changed this into Central Park. Now, fun fact for you, this actually used to be an ice rink. So before uh, the re-theming of Hotel New York, they had a huge ice rink here and it was really, really fun. It was so in theme again. It was meant to be uh, the ice rink from the Rockefeller. So the huge New York Rockefeller ice rink that they have in the Christmas season. Um, but yeah, in the last few years of Hotel New York being open, uh, before it closed in 2017 for renovation, the ice rink was starting to wear down a bit. It was hardly ever open. So I understand why they've had to change it into some grass. Uh, it's, a, it's a disappointment for me, I'm not gonna lie, because I really did appreciate the ice rink. I never actually ice skated on it myself, but I would, I'd see it every time. But yeah, it does look quite nice actually with the green um, under the lovely hotel. And I can see why they've done that. They've got some chairs as well. So if you want to relax, I'm loving the trees that they've put here as well. I don't know if the trees were around already. They must have been. <laughs> they just go really well with um, the Central Park vibe, I suppose. And yeah, you can just relax here. They've got some more chairs here. And of course, they've got Lake Disney over there, Pandora Magique, um, some more chairs, but yeah. This is your main entrance of Hotel New York. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way towards the entrance now. It's a lovely day here in Paris today as well. Nice and sunny, but not too hot. Uh, I imagine this spot will be quite popular actually for the warmer months of the year to just relax, enjoy life. I was actually just talking to one of my cast member friends, say shout out to you, Lauren. Um, and she said she would appreciate kind of coming here and relaxing on her off days when she's not working. So yeah, really, really nice. I'm enjoying the funky music they've got going on here. It's really nice. Anyway, this is another shot of the exterior of Hotel New York Art of Marvel for you. It does look so, so nice. And of course, you've got uh, the logo for the hotel just there in the middle with the New York skyline underneath it. Hotel New York, the art of Marvel. I'm just going up some uh, stairs here now, and I believe this is going to be one of the restaurants. Uh, and they've got some outdoor seating as well for this restaurant. So as I said, I will be checking out the restaurants as well. Oh my God, I've just seen over there. Let's go check it out. I've seen a statue of... Is that, uh, who is it? So there you have it. This is actually Captain Marvel. And it's this pretty big statue of her looking absolutely awesome. There are some signs here that tell you not to climb on it. I don't know why anyone would, to be honest. It's not an easy climb, but yeah, look at her. She's welcoming guests. Um, I believe these were made for um, the Marvel season a few years ago. And I think they've just kind of reused them to put them here. I'm not sure if they're gonna stay here for a long time or if they're just here for now but um, she looks awesome, she looks incredible. Anyway, let's finally make our way into the hotel because I promise you there's a lot to see in the hotel as well, of course, there would be, especially with all the artwork. Before we go in though, as you can see, just outside the main entrance, there are some seats available where you can just relax, maybe have a drink, enjoy some life, or well, enjoy your life. And uh, here, we've got the entrance, so looking absolutely awesome Disney's Hotel New York Art of Marvel let's go in
Wow, okay, so as you can see, there is a lot to see. So we've got loads of little display windows everywhere. It almost feels like a museum, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we are gonna have a look at all of this in a bit, but this is what you first see when you come in. You've got the concierge here. So that's where you would go for any information you need. If you want to do some reservations, make some reservations for, for food, for restaurants. And then uh, the reception is over there. That's where you go to check in to the hotel. There is also another entrance to Hotel New York from the other side. That's the entrance for cars. So if you're coming by car or by taxi or Uber or basically if you're coming by car, that would be the entrance that you would be using instead of the entrance from Disney Village. Same thing, they have, as you can see, put a red carpet down for today's opening because it has just opened or reopened today, this hotel. There's a bar here. Um, park transfers are there. Parking, airport transfers. And yeah, <laughs> bonjour. And uh, yeah, this is the reception area looking really, really nice. This is probably the biggest piece here in the reception. So you've got the costumes of some of the superheroes here looking awesome really nice this genuinely does feel like you're in a museum i'm not even kidding like this is a museum right surely one of my other favorite things about this reception is the comic like cartoons that they've got going on like the comic pictures the drawings just on the entrance there you can see it behind me so cool it's it's so nice like what an amazing entrance because it's all about the art of marvel and not necessarily just marvel itself I love what they've done here. It looks really nice. Here's a little closer look at some of these comic book photos that they've got going on here. We've got Spider-Man here, Captain America, and he just goes on and on, and they're all here. I really think it's a really, really nice way to welcome guests. It's so nice. It's like not too out there. You know, it's all kind of in black and white, obviously, because it's just uh, meant to be a comic, but um, yeah. I really like the design. Then on your left hand side here, you will see the display windows for the boutique, the New York boutique, which is the main shop here. Um, and yeah, I imagine they'll have loads of Marvel stuff and a lot of exclusive things probably as well. So we're gonna try and go into the shop now first. Now this is the entrance to the shop at the moment because of the pandemic, they have put a little queuing area so they can organize the amount of people that they let in. I think I can see the number 20 there. So I believe the capacity for this uh, shop at the moment is 20 people at the same time. So if there are too many people in there, they will make people wait a little bit outside, socially distanced of course, before they can make their way in there however at the moment as you can see there's no queue so it's very easy to go in so i'm gonna go in bonjour merci beaucoup yeah we're going in and i can already see a professional camera oh we oui. <laughs> merci <laughs> i can already see a professional camera here as well so doesn't know what's going on there they do have hand gel of course which is great and here we are wow this shop has changed a lot since uh, before the renovation like it's the same design but everything is basically marvel so here you've got a lot of marvel characters are these meant to be for the games toy box i don't know but they look really nice loads of spider-man merch here i think this must be a um what do you call them like a big pencil case perhaps or just a bag it looks really cool some more pencils and uh, stationery sets uh, with spider-man on them if you're a spider-man lover you would love basically all of this on my left hand side they have some mugs uh, which is nice a really good selection of mugs actually there's captain america we've got the hulk as well this kind of more generic one with different characters on them uh, this character here i've only recently gotten to know him i think his name is Groot. I, he's adorable i can't wait to watch i think he's in the guardians of the galaxy somebody said so looking forward to watching and finding out more about his story they've got these little spider-man cups and yeah some balls down there as well so if you're into balls for your cereal you can get those too continuing on here we've got some black widow merchandise so you can get a black widow toy a doll some of these mini toys as well a nice little t-shirt if you're a fan of her you can become the black widow yourself if you want to and then i saw a few people having a look at these actually so maybe these are quite popular i don't know but i think it's basically a jacket really nice uh, material as well from what i can tell and they've got them in different sizes and yeah it's a, a black widow jacket i guess and uh, that's the back of it as well so basically it's almost like a leather jacket but with some uh, black widow theming 
This is 69.99 euros, in case you're wondering. By the counter over there, they have some new things. So, uh, a Captain America hoodie, which is nice. Uh, some kids' t-shirts as well, with Iron Man on them, with Avengers logo. Some toys, some more toys, some more kids' t-shirts. This looks to be quite a nice jumper, or like a hoodie with the Avengers logo. And this, like a plain back, oh! I was about to say plain back t-shirt, but it does have something on the back, so yeah. That's pretty nice as well. And moving on, over here, I believe this is the Guardians of the Galaxy section. I haven't watched Guardians of the Galaxy, so I don't really know much about it. But I do know that Woot is a character in it, and uh, he seems cute, so this is a jumper that you can get. And this is um, €39.99, which is actually pretty reasonable, I would say. That Woot over there, I'm actually doing a giveaway right now, so you can win this if you want to. It's really cute. Um, it's just a plush of boot. And then I have no idea what this is. Is his name Rocket? I don't know. But you can get the plush of him as well. You've got some t-shirts here. Some more t-shirts. Oh yeah, they're all kind of Gardens of the Galaxy t-shirts, I believe. This looks nice, so let me just pick it up. Okay, so this is the same, same character here. I don't know his name, so feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. But yeah, they do have some t-shirts with uh, characters from uh, this film on them some uh, more Groot merch oh these are adorable too look at this so cute and then oh my god they're even selling ears with him on it oh that's so cool look at that you can literally get yourself a pair of mini ears that has Groot on the middle of them that is amazing I'm gonna put this on because I'm really oh yeah there you go I really want to try them Groot is just casually chilling on my head hello like I said, I don't know much about him, unfortunately, but I think apparently you've told me that he doesn't talk much. All he says is that his name is Groot. But yeah, the ears are really nice. Uh, really lovely. And they do say uh, Disneyland Paris on the side as well. Embroidered, as always. So this is definitely like a Disneyland Paris exclusive pair of ears, which is nice. They are also selling a Groot outfit, costume, I suppose, for kids, for little ones. So that's fun. And then the Groot lounge fly bags are up there as well. Now moving on. There is some more good stuff here, so I'm not going to show them to you because it's the same as before. But on my right hand side here, we've got some, I believe, Captain America t-shirts. This is really nice for kids. We've got a Captain America print up there as well, which looks lovely. Look at it. So cool. Again, some costumes if you want to turn into Captain America yourself, as well as this hoodie for kids, which is nice. Around the corner from here, they've got some Hotel New York merch, so specifically the hotel. This is a t-shirt, it just says Disney's Hotel New York, Art of Marvel on it, 30 euros, got some of the characters on there, Captain Marvel, well done to her. And then they've also got this uh, Spider-Man figurine, which is nice, I might actually buy this. And again this says Disney's Hotel New York, Art of Marvel, and you've got Spidey on the top. This is 20 euros, which I actually think is quite reasonable. They also do have these mugs over here, which I think are the same as I showed you before, again, yeah. Uh, Hotel New York, Disney's uh, Hotel New York Art of Marvel and um, it's got the same kind of design and then they've got these prints on the bottom which are really nice I think they're all going to be the same but I'll have a quick look for you yeah they're all basically Spider-Man but I love the artwork I love how they've drawn Spider-Man in this particular artwork it's so nice this is a cool section because it sells a lot of Hotel New York exclusive merchandise things that you can really only find in this hotel or yeah in this hotel shop such as this which is like a little robe it says Disney's uh, Hotel New York Art of Marvel on it this is um, 60 euros wow I didn't expect it to be this expensive but to be fair it's really nice and soft so maybe I can justify the price there's some more artwork up there we've already seen that Spider-Man little figurine so yeah they still sell them here as well there's some more mugs here as well so yeah this one again says Disney's Hotel New York Art of Marvel on the back and this one's a bit more like I suppose subtle I guess because it's just black with some little artworks on the front and then of course we've already had a look at these mugs here uh, and that Spider-Man print down there but they do also have other things for this hotel such as a little magnet so this is a magnet I love the skyline for New York underneath it it's a photo frame, so you can put a photo here of yourself maybe staying here in this hotel or just enjoying life in the parks. And um, yeah, they're selling here. They are also selling uh, little magnets here with the Hotel New York artwork, which is nice. Really nice, in case you're wondering. These are 8 euros. 
which is maybe a little bit expensive for what it is but uh, you know we're in Disney at the end of the day so what do you expect you can get an exclusive smell of Hotel New York so that's that they've got them out here for you to see um, it does smell really nice actually here so yeah you can get a little perfume and they come in these boxes and these are let me find out for you okay these are 60 euros so I don't know if they're worth it or not I mean it does smell nice but I have to be honest I personally prefer the smell of uh, Hotel Disneyland the main hotel but this is still nice and it's a nice uh, way of maybe keeping the memory of staying here with you when you go back home up here you can actually buy some of these figurines and you can see the prices for them 125 euros and there's one at the very top as well and i believe that's the same price so yeah here we've got some more toys and outfits for kids that people can wear which is fun some more spider-man merch he's very popular of course this is 27.99 euros and to be fair i mean it's quite expensive let's be real but i think you can like move his arm like can you see so you can like make him stand the way you want him to. So like this one is positioned differently. So I guess because of that, because of the ability that they can like, Spidey can actually move his uh, limbs. Maybe it is worth it, I don't really know. They've got some t-shirts down below with Spidey's face on him. You can turn into Spider-Man yourself. Some Spider-Man masks, more of these little plushies more t-shirts here these are really nice actually if you have kids who love spider-man they would really like these this seems to be the captain marvel section so you get a print of her over there you can get a little cushion up there as well let me just touch it quickly i have obviously hand sanitized my hands so it's all good you can get a costume captain marvel t-shirt and some little toys here as well there's some more of boot over here but also some little cushions down below as well for Captain Marvel and I believe this is Captain America these are really nice if you're into your pop Funkos they do have a selection of pop Funkos here uh, this is Doctor Strange we've got Iron Man um, who's this Black Widow's over here Captain America and they've got <laughs> oh Captain America yeah there we go that's really cool as well thank you and oh the store as well that's awesome. It's Such very, a, very special. Yeah. Do you collect them then? I love Do you? Oh, cool. Very nice. Thank you. And then they also sell some phone cases here. So, oh my God, that's actually so cool with the detail on it. And then there's another one here and some more Marvel phone cases. Look at Groot here. Look at his little face. So cute. And then they've got this design at the bottom as well. If you want an exclusive watch from this hotel, they are selling this lovely watch over here for 70 euros. And I believe it's Iron Man on the watch. We've put it in like this little case, as you can see. So you can't actually touch it. They've done this on purpose so that people won't touch it. It does stay here. But if you want this, just let the cast member know and they'll bring you out a new one. But um, yeah, that's really nice. Here they've got some books on Marvel characters, such as this one. And this one, it says must have civil war. Some more books. Now these look to be in French, absolument tout ce que vous devez savoir. Everything you need to know about Marvel, I guess. Uh, but I'm sure they might have some English stuff as well. I mean, that's like a, that looks to be like an illustrated book. So that's fun. But yeah, quite a lot of Marvel books over here. In this section over here, they have backpacks. Now I actually did see this, I think, uh, in What the Studios the other day, or at least a version of this, but this is a really cool Spider-Man backpack. So if you're a Spider-Man fan, honestly, you would love this. I love it, and I'm not even like the biggest Spider-Man fan. I like the guy, but I don't like, I'm not a big fan of him necessarily. But yeah, they have a lot of nice backpacks here for you. This one's a Groot one. It says, I am Groot over here some more like generic avengers ones they even sell a suitcase it's a cabin size one and this in case you're wondering is 130 euros and this is what it looks like i think it's quite good price some watches for little kids with spidey on them this is actually a really nice watch uh, with the captain america's logo you can get gloves and i believe these are meant to be the touchscreen gloves because you can see these areas are different so that's really convenient you can get a spider-man hat like this which is nice some caps over here as well this group one look at it and then also an umbrella which just says adventures on it over here we have some more captain america and spider-man merch 
there's a lot to look at guys um, some socks as well and then here oh this is nice I think I saw this earlier in another shop as well but um, yeah this is a Marvel's uh, comics I suppose a jacket 69.99 dollars I think I actually saw this in the fashion shop in Disney Village so yeah this isn't an exclusive uh, item to Disney's uh, Hotel New York but um, still cool they also sell these Avengers hats or beanies some more hats some more t-shirts this is really really nice uh, some bags like I guess these are lounge fly bags right and this purse here yeah this is definitely lounge fly so yeah a little wallet and then um, yeah they also sell these t-shirts down here so you can literally turn yourself into whoever character you want to from the Marvel Universe they have some more books here I think these are meant to be mainly for kids but on the other side over here they have some sorry that's fine they've got some really nice artwork I think oh and these are individually signed it says that's so nice there's a spider-man over here they're prints on metal as it says on here they've got an Avengers one here looks really cool is this meant to be Guardians of the Galaxy I hope so sorry if I'm wrong but yeah they've got some more prints down below as well there's uh, Iron Man here really cool I don't know what the prices are for these so I'm just gonna have a look at this one just as an example they do look really nice 40 euros in case you're wondering which actually isn't bad considering the size of these and what you can actually do with them as well you know you can li literally nicely decorate your house with them if you're a big fan of these Marvel characters they do have this section as well with some Marvel pins that they have here Disneyland Paris Spider-Man pin over here and it does say Disneyland Paris over here as well which means it's exclusive to this park obviously the first Avenger over here the armed Avenger Groot looking really cute Thor um, yeah all the characters are here this is another cute pin actually and then they do some magnets as well so you can get this little magnet of Groot or of Captain America very cute these are 4.99 euros they've got a full-on marvel magnet like this that literally just says marvel on it and um yeah this is nice this is an avengers one so if you want more of the characters you can get this one this is 4.99 euros as well and this is a selection of keychains that they're currently selling in the shop of hotel new york so yeah this is really cool this is definitely probably one of my favorite ones here it says awesome mix volume 2 i don't know if you can see it or not it's basically like a tape and it's marble and this is what it says on the front i just love the look of it it's so vintage looking and then of course we saw these already on the other side which are the hotel new york keychains they also do have some hotel new york pins of course now they've recently had to change these obviously with the reopening of hotel new york there used to be a different pin for hotel new york and now they've got a pin for the new look of it which is now of course Disney's Hotel New York Art of Marvel. I think I'm actually going to get this because I've been collecting the pins from all the hotels I've stayed at in Disneyland Paris over the years. This is 10 euros if you're wondering. You can also get yourself a little magnet or one of these lanyards with uh, Disney's Hotel New York on it. There is some more artwork down below as well that you can buy and um, yeah even some more up there. So a lot of the exclusive uh, Hotel New York stuff are just located in this one section here. These are meant to be, I believe, shop classes. So, yeah, you can find them all in this middle section area when you first enter the shop from that entrance over there. It's literally the first thing you see because they want you to buy all the exclusive Hotel New York stuff. Okay, well, I'm just leaving the shop now. Did make a couple of purchases, so you know, make sure you watch my Disneyland Paris haul video. But I love all the display windows as well for the shops. Look how cool they are. Coming out from the shop over there, you have another display window here with some more figurines of Marvel characters that you can buy and the prices for them. So that's pretty nice. And then here we get to uh, oh, that's where the Empire State Club is as well, actually, uh, which I have stayed at before, but not obviously now that it's changed into. Uh, art of marvel there are quite a lot of little selfie spots i suppose or photo locations for you to take some nice shots for instance this one you can see someone's taking a photo that's really cool um oh my god there's literally so much to look at they've got some of the prints and the books from the shop here on display too this is still a part of the shop on the right but i'm just loving all the display windows you do have a lot of artwork like this here as well these are all the awesome women of the marvel universe 
powers of a girl. I love that. That's so cool. And uh, yeah, all the artworks here look phenomenal. Beautiful, look at this one here. They're all so, so, so pretty. Right next to here, they do have the entrances to both downtown restaurant and Manhattan restaurant. You'll be going a bit further out. But yeah, I'm gonna be checking out both of these restaurants in the upcoming days and uh, making a separate video for both of them. So if you wanna see the restaurants here in Disney's Hotel New York, as well as maybe like some of the lounges that they have and the bars, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see them in a separate video. But yeah, this is what uh, the way in looks like. So you can see Manhattan restaurant all the way in the end. Uh, also, the I like the toilet signs actually, look at that. They've got some pretty cool looking toilet signs for the toilets. They actually, you know what? I'm gonna make my way here because I've just spotted some, some more artwork. Captain Marvel is here. This is so nice. They've got so many cute things to look at. Um, yeah, some more artwork here. All the way to the end with the, I think the Hulk is the last one down there. So I'm loving the funky music too, guys. I hope you're enjoying the music as much as I am because yeah, it's, it's a really nice atmosphere here. So yeah, you go all the way down here and then you'll be entering Manhattan Restaurant, which is one of two restaurants here at Hotel Disney's uh, New York Art of Marvel. I've just spotted another artwork here and this one actually looks really cool. I love this one. This one was uh, made by Mr. Garson, The Amazing Spider-Man number 700 variant edition comic book cover uh, from 2012 so I'm loving all the little spider-mans everywhere and I don't know I just think it's such a cool piece of work look at it over on your left hand side from the restaurant entrances you get to the midtown area brownstone wing so there's a set of lifts here as well this is not where I'm staying personally but you know this hotel is quite big it's not the biggest hotel in Disneyland Paris that award goes to Newport Bay but yeah I just wanted to show you the artwork everywhere and this is the artwork they've got here uh, next to the lifts on this side of the hotel. Okay, so we're going to continue our journey here. Obviously you would have seen this little selfie spot already. Um, here is the entrance to Empire State Lounge. Uh, but it's definitely, you know, uh, possible to go and have a look at things as well. So, wow, wow, this is so cool. Oh my god. This just looks like they've got the covers of different comic books, like their front covers with all the artwork for them displayed here. This is insanely cool. Wow. Oh my God, this is so cool. So yeah, there's so much to look at, honestly. I can't even show you everything. I hope I'm trying my best to show you as much as I can, but there is a lot. So in this little section here, it's just a lot of artwork, which is cool. Jack Hill Kirby did this one here that's nice and then on the other side you've got some artwork of Captain America I'm going backwards I hope I'm not going to bump into the wall that wouldn't be great but yeah loads of artwork here and then I can see the convention center in front of me so we're going to make our way there now but before we do that on my right hand side here I've just spotted some photos some exclusive photos of Avengers Campus which is meant to be coming to Disneyland Paris in the next few years hopefully it's going to be an extension of Walt Disney Studios so it does say here, Avengers Campus, Paris and California. I'm really excited to be getting this uh, in Paris as well. We have some nice photos up there. Some more photos here. Oh my God, this is gonna look so epic. And they've even got some photos of some of the attractions like the rides that they'll be bringing here to Paris as well. So I think this is meant to be the Spider-Man uh, ride. They've already opened this, I think in California. This is what the ride vehicle looks like. It does look pretty cool. And I'm so happy that they're bringing it over to Paris as well in the next few years. Now I believe this is the exclusive Empire State Lounge area. So I can't really go in there, which is fine. But we'll have a quick look from the outside and it does look really nice. You know, nice tables, pretty cool. Bonjour, We've got the walls here. Um, I think, yeah, there you go. Look at the logo here, I love the logo. ESL, Empire State Lounge. <laughs> Thank you very much for confirming that for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not staying at Empire State today, but nice to see it anyway. Thank you. And then here is the convention center. So we'll have a quick look at this area as well. Why not? Oh, is this where you can meet some of the characters? Spider-Man is in there maybe? So these two lovely cast members just explained to me the situation for how to meet Spider-Man. Apparently he's already done for the day. The current time is three. 
uh, 20. Like, he has a lot of things to do with Spider-Man. Let's be real, he needs to save the world and all that. So yeah, I think he meets from the morning until uh, like maybe like afternoon time. But um, yeah, I've, I'm going to explain all of that to you when I do that tomorrow, when I go and meet Spider-Man and do all the photo locations there. But this place here, oh my God, what is this? I don't understand what's going on here. This is so nice. Grand Ballroom A. Grand Ballroom A. There's two Grand Ballroom A's. The next one is F. This is so cool. So yeah, the convention center, I suppose. You've got some toilets here. Um, some areas to sit down and relax. There's another entrance there and an exit and a sign to go to the reception. They do have security, of course, when you enter any Disney hotel. Um, yeah, this is really nice. It's a very grand area. <laughs> I like it a lot. And, oh, I wonder what that Times Square sign is for. You've got the toilets again on the left. Some more work here, some information. Oh, I see a grand piano down there as well. A full-on grand piano. That's so cool. And yeah, I'm going to see what this Times Square situation is all about. Okay. Well, it's just like taking me here towards the ballrooms. So I'm presuming... Oh. There's Wall Street ward room there as well. So I guess these are all just meeting rooms. I'm not gonna go into them. I'm not gonna just go into all these random ballrooms. I don't think I'm allowed anyway. But there you go. I thought I'd show them all to you anyway as much as I could. The grand piano is here, which is nice. And I think I've just spotted one more artwork over there. So that's the Wall Street ward room situation. And this is the artwork they've got going on here. I love it. I love black and white stuff, in case you couldn't tell like sketchy looking art is so my favorite type of art and so this is one of my favorite pieces that I've seen in this hotel so far and this is by Kim Young Ji Marvel Saves the Big Apple Hotel Exclusive uh, 2019 so there you go looks awesome okay well it looks like there's some more meeting rooms and little rooms and areas down there but I'm not going to go there because I don't need to be here to be honest but we've seen most of this convention center area as well and it's, it's really nice i think it looks so awesome i love the floor too look at it nice and yellow and vibrant the theming the color scheming everything about this hotel so far has really really impressed me honestly so we've explored that one side of the hotel so far as you can see i've come back to the middle section now where the shop was and there seems to be a bit of a queue now to go into the shop so i'm glad i didn't have to queue when i went in there this is back in the reception area again that's the entrance to disney village uh, love the artwork around it uh, you've already seen this all the cool stuff here but now I'm going to make my way to the other side of the hotel where apparently the kids club is the pool is and the fitness room so I'm really looking forward to seeing the pool in particular so let's go already I've spotted some really cool artwork again I'm going to be saying this a lot in this video I have a feeling there's spider-man and oh this looks very like um like wall street work if that makes sense you know that makes sense like uh, street art that's the one street art uh, vibes so that's cool over here i'm not sure what this is actually i think it just might be a little lounge area so oh yeah i can see a little um coffee's making oh that's the bar there's a bar there okay this is nice we're gonna check that out in a bit as well or maybe in another video i'm not sure but you know you'll find out soon this is a lovely uh, artwork of Doctor Strange made by Gabriel Del Otto and then another artwork of the Captain Captain America by Gary Chu so yeah this is the Skyline Bar which is actually meant to look awesome I've seen photos of it I am going to check this out in a different video in a separate video in the same video where I'll be checking out the restaurants as well but this is the entrance of it so you can kind of see what it looks like but if you want to see what it looks like from the inside uh, watch my other video for that but um, yeah we're continuing our journey here I'm loving all the decorations everywhere the lights the sofas the colors everything just looks so nice and modern and fresh uh, some more toilets this is the continuation of the bar uh, you've got the windows to look outside as well when you're sitting in the bar you've got some more artwork here uh, yeah wonder what the theme is meant to be for this one it looks to be like silhouettes of them like side profiles anyway so these were made by Mike Mitchell from left to right and top to bottom it just kind of gives you the names of all the characters we've got the Scarlet Witch, Hulk, Spider-Man etc they're all here and then on this side here we've got some more characters um, hello Spider-Man hello the Hulk nice to meet you 
and this is also done by Mike Mitchell, so the same artist. So I think we're going to check out the Kids Club first because that's just around the corner and then we're going to go to uh, the pool and fitness room which I believe will be either upstairs. Oh no, pool and fitness room is just down there. Kids Club is the same place. So that's really convenient. Before we do that though, again, some more awesome looking artwork for you by this side of the lifts. I'm loving all the signs for like directions as well that they've put around the hotel. Like they're all very, very easy to follow. So yeah, I've just seen the sign for the pool. Bonjour. Bonjour. There you go, bonjour. It just literally says pool. So I mean, you won't miss it. Et le pool, le pool, la piscine, c'est là-bas. C'est là-bas. Merci, merci. So yeah, we're continuing the journey to the pool. Wow. Okay, let me show you this. Firstly, I love the hallways, as always. Some nice colours, but down there I can see some lights. And, you know, I gravitate towards light. <laughs> that just made me really happy. I don't even know what it is. It might just be some random lights for no reason. Might be the kids club, actually. Oh, wow. It says design studio at the front of it. Okay, so this might be the kids club, but I think it kind of... This is so nice. Whoa. I wonder if I'm allowed to go in very quickly. Okay, so this is, this looks to be the kids club. And I think they teach you how to draw and how to design some Marvel characters yourself. This is so cool. Of course, they do have some hand sanitizer. I'm going to speak a bit more quietly here. But yeah, as you can see, artwork. You've got Groot there. I am Groot. I low-key wish I was a kid. I feel like you might be able to do this if you're an adult too because those seats over there tend to be a bit smaller and uh, shorter than these ones on this side so maybe they'll allow adults to do it too but um, it is designated for kids so I think that's really nice and you can sit here and watch some, some films about how to draw your favourite Marvel characters that is awesome This is the sign outside of it Marvel Design Studio in case you're wondering and obviously that's where I've just been um, yeah, really nice idea I think it's got like a list of activities that you can do here as well. Um, so yeah, you can find out a bit more here. The Marvel Design Studio is open from 8am to 10pm. And yeah, they literally teach you how to draw these characters. I would love to do this. Please, can adults do this too? Because this is like definitely something that I would be interested in. And yeah, you've got the logo here. And now I'm going to continue my journey to hopefully finally get to the pool. But yeah. This was, this was fun, really fun, really cool idea. Now I can already see the pool sign. It's called the Metro Pool, which is cool. Apparently it's meant to be in theming with like the Metro, so the underground in New York, which is really, really cool. This is the sign. As you can see, it says Metro Pool. Um, I think over there is just some more rooms, I believe. So we're not going to go that way, although I can see some really cool artwork there. But I, th I think we've seen enough artwork for today, so we're just going to go in here. Now, bear in mind, I might not be able to show you much of the pool if it is busy because I don't want to film random people. But there's a sign. Oh, I can smell chlorine already. It smells so nice. So let's make our way. You can see the outside area here. Oh wow, this really smells like a pool. <laughs> Obviously it would. So this is the entrance to the pool. I'm loving all the little seats here. It literally genuinely feels like you're in a New York subway, like with the walls as well. That's such a cool, fun idea. Look at the metal vibes as well around it. Such a clever idea for a pool. So nice. So yeah, let's uh, see what the actual pool's like. Okay, well there it is. This is the pool, the Metro pool. I'm trying my best to not show anyone in the pool, but yeah, this is what the decoration looks like. I'm not gonna go in there. The water looks really, really clean though. Um, no diving, it says here. They do have some spaces for you to lounge as well if you just wanna chill. And up there, I've just seen it says 59th Street. So that's cool. And in case you're wondering, this is an indoor pool, as you can obviously see, the ceiling's up there. But it does also go outside a bit. So there is also an outdoor section uh, on that side over there so yeah there's a bit of both depending on the weather now as i'm leaving the pool area i thought i'd also show you some of the changing room entrances so they do have some changing rooms for you obviously and there's a section here as well where you can i believe get some things that you might need for the swimming pool hello bonjour i love this area it's so nicely themed so cool 
Yeah, thank you. And do you provide ta oh yeah, towels as well, just just to tell on my vlog, yeah. That's cool, so if you want to get your towels, you can get them there as well, which is so nice. Let's check out the fitness room now, or the gym. Now to do that, you do need your card, because access to the swimming pool and the gym at all Disney hotels is only for hotel guests, or some annual pass holders, but that's a different story. Oh, that's not letting me, there you go. Okay, so I've just entered the fitness room slash the gym, and oh my God, it smells incredible. The cast member just said the same thing. She was, he was like, uh, go to the, go check out the smell here. It's a nice smell, I can't even explain it. But it just smells wonderful, like quite a fruity, sweet, happy smell. They're playing the football here. They do have some bottles of water here as well, if you need them. Obviously some hand sanitizer because we're in a pandemic. But yeah, this is what the gym looks like. It does look pretty well equipped. There's a lot of things and everything is really nicely spaced out from each other as well. So like I feel like I would feel quite comfortable, you know, doing a workout here because everything's distanced. So if I'm in the, on the treadmill here, I'm quite far away from anyone who might be on the bike over there. Was that even a bike? I don't even know. There's a bike here maybe. Look, I don't go to the gym a lot, so I don't know much about these things, but this is me. <laughs> it smells so nice. I can like, it's quite a strong smell as well. And I think it's good to have a smell like this because normally when people go to the gym, there'll be like a lot of, let's be real, body odor, you know, some sweat smell. And this smell makes it feel like, you know, it's actually really nice. So that's the smell. Um, and yeah, we're gonna exit now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. Now I've just come outside really quickly to show you the training zone, the hero training zone that they've got going on. This is quite new as well for the reopening of Hotel New York. So yeah, obviously you can kind of see a little bit of the swimming pool from up here. That is an extension of the indoor swimming pool which was uh, in there. But they also do have, as it says here, a hero training zone multi-sports field. So I think there's just some fields for you to play basketball, football, etc. I can spot them over there. We'll go and have a closer look. So this is the entrance of the hero training zone. It gives you all the rules and regulations that you need to know, the opening times and everything, um, access zone, um, of course there's hand sanitizer here as well, and um, yeah, this is nice. So it looks to be like a basketball field, I love that. I love all the bright colours on the floor as well, I think that's so nice, all the marble colours on the ground. And then the basketball hoops. I mean, it's a very, very hot day right now, especially right now. I think it's bang in the middle of the afternoon. So I would not want to be playing any kind of sports outdoors at this moment in time. But they also have some fun areas like this for both kids and adults. I mean, I, I, I feel like I could use this if I wanted to. And then also like a little, would you say these are like gym stuff? I don't know. But some outdoor training things, I suppose, that you can use here. Again, I think anyone can use them to be fair as long as you're staying in the hotel so that's really nice so yeah that's this area over here we've almost covered everything so far at our hotel New York Art of Marvel the only thing we haven't seen yet is of course the little photo locations with spider-man when he does a meet and greet I think under normal circumstances it will be like more characters as well not only spider-man but at the opening they've only got spider-man doing meet and greets the cast member did tell me as well that you can um, you can take proper photos with them as well as in like there'll be a photo pass person at the location with spider-man so I'm really looking forward to checking it out tomorrow when spider-man is free again to visit hotel New York for a little bit and, and you'll meet some guests and I think there's some other little fun photo locations in that same area as well which um, I need to reserve for it anyway so I'm going to show that to you when I get back to my room later and then we're going to check that out tomorrow together and yeah it looks really awesome though so far like I don't know I mean let me know in the comments down below what do you think I'm pretty impressed now if you want to see a full-on room tour as well by the way I have already done that so there'll be a link to that as well a proper look at one of the rooms standard rooms in Hotel New York but yeah for now I've had to put my hair up because it is pretty hot I'm gonna go back inside to see if I can maybe have a little quick snack at one of the bars well the main bar or I think they've got a lounge as well so I'll see which one I prefer and obviously like I said that'll be in a separate video but yeah I'll speak to you in a second hello it's the next day I am now in this little small queue to go into the superhero station I think it's called yeah superhero station literally the exact name I'm kind of proud of myself for that considering everything is new but yeah you get to meet spider-man I believe and there's also eight different photo locations for you to take photos so I'm going to show them all to you the, the queue is moving really quickly I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in there within about 
five or ten minutes. So there you go, this is the superhero station. There is a, a capacity limit for how many people can go inside, that's why there's a bit of a queue. But honestly, I've only been in the queue for about three minutes so far and I'm the next group to go in. There's a lovely cast member who obviously organizes everything and makes sure that everyone is uh, going in on time. Bonjour! Some... Oui, oui. Merci. Merci. Bonjour. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, so the lovely cast member just now explained to me that there are eight different photo locations as you can see in this area. Your first location is of course Spider-Man, so you get to meet him here. Oh, he does look really cool. He's got a really cool backdrop as well. Um, and yeah, after that, uh, you just kind of make your way through them all. That one's really cool, the Iron Man boots, I believe. And yeah, um, they've also been very, very kind and said that uh, they'll actually help me take my photos as well, the cast members here, because I'm on my own. Normally speaking, because of COVID at the moment, cast members aren't allowed to touch your phone, but um, they offered it. They were like, you know, we can just ask a cast member to take your photos. I was like, are you sure that's okay? And they were like, yeah, uh, because of the fact that you're here on your own, we can do that. And I then offered to just um, put some hand gel on my phone. I literally just did it then in front of them. I was like, I'm going to make sure my phone is as clean as possible for you, because I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. Um, I would have been fine even if they, they couldn't do it. I know, I can just take selfies or I can give... Like families have been so lovely on this trip. They've taken photos of me, they've offered like different groups and guests. So it wouldn't have made much of a difference. But of course it's easier having a cast member take my photos. So that's really, really nice. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> Hello, bonjour Spider-Man. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. And you? Yeah, not bad. Lovely to yeah. meet you. Yes, yeah, saving good. the world yeah. as always. Yeah. Which one is your favourite? I think I, I do love you a lot. Yeah. I've got, to, I've got to be honest, Spider-Man. I've got a photo of you in my room, and it's such a nice photo. You look great. You look greater in real life Ooh, than in you. the photos. You look awesome. Thank you so much. This is so much to me. Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna see my room just after. Uh, yeah, I will do. I can't wait. Place. Can't wait. Don't see the calendar, please. Okay. Because I write something. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay. You want to do some with me? Yes, please. Yes. Cool. So Spider-Man was lovely, as you would have seen. This is uh, Doctor Strange's location. It's so interesting because it actually tells you exactly how to take the photo as well. So that's pretty cool. I love this. I don't know much about Doctor Strange. I'm going to be honest, but. Look at this, this is so cool. They really like um, built it in a way where you go a bit crazy, I suppose. But from what I know, I think Doctor Strange like, is more about like the mind. My friend Izzy tried to explain this to me recently because I wanted to learn more about the characters because I haven't watched all the field yet. But there you go, that's his location over here. And that's the ceiling. The next photo <laughs> spot, guys, is the chambre de Peter Parker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. So it's Peter Parker's bedroom and as you can see it's upside down because what you need to do here, you take your photo, you're on the ground but then you make it upside down and it looks obviously like you're on the ceiling. I love this one, it looks really cool so look at the photo now. The next section here is uh, Thor's hammer, shout out to my cousin. She was really excited about me seeing this area here. So yeah, you've got the hammer here, you've got a nice little backdrop, looks really awesome. Let's have a look at the photo. So, over here, yeah, okay, this is from the Avengers film, the last Avengers film I just uh, was told by the lovely cast member here. It looks really cool, the location, honestly, shout out to the cast member who's with me as well, I just have to give a big shout out to him because he's um, literally going through this whole section with me right now, so yeah, I'm gonna go and do a photo of here now. Right, so now we've got into the Iron Man section. As you can see here, they show you exactly how to pose if you're not sure. You just basically have to pretend that you're wearing his boots, which is really cool. So that's going to be my next little photo spot now. Okay, so this is the Ant-Man photo location. This one doesn't actually have much of an explanation around it. It's just more of a backdrop, but still cool nonetheless. Also, look how cool the floor looks. Even the floor is like nicely themed. And then here we've got um, Captain Marvel. So, probably one of my favourites of the Marvel characters actually, even though I don't know much about her. She does look cool, so let's do this one. And then we've got the final one over here, which is uh, from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, this is cool. You're basically going to be in this little, not sure what this is, box. But um, 
let me know in the comments below. I have said that previously that I'm going to watch all the Marvel films very, very soon. So I'm looking forward to finding out what this exactly is. So there we have it. I'm just about to leave this little Marvel, <laughs> Marvel section. Um, that was really nice. The whole thing probably took about 10 minutes, maximum 10, 15 minutes. So nice and easy. Huge shout out to the cast member who literally walked to every station with me. This was something that was offered to me by the cast members at the front, who happened to actually be the managers <laughs> of, the, of the situation. Uh, his name was Richard, so Richard, merci beaucoup encore, thank you so much again, that was really, really kind, he took so many photos as well, and he was really patient with me, like, doing the little filming slots as well, so, cast members here are honestly amazing, and, um, yeah, that was that, that's basically the last thing I wanted to do here, actually, in the hotel, and uh, as far as the hotel goes, I feel like we've seen basically everything now, um, as I said, if you want to see what the restaurants are like, what breakfast is like in this hotel, also like a full-on detailed room tour. Uh, there'll be other videos coming up or probably already on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed or you go on my channel and find out those other links. I'll probably leave them down below as well for you to make it easier. But that is it, you know, all in all, this hotel has been really good. Um, I've already stayed here one night now because it's the next day. Loved my stay, comfortable beds, everything's been great. Cast members, phenomenal. <laughs> Um, I've eaten at a few places already, so again, if you want to see what my thoughts are, what the food's like, etc., you need to watch the other videos. But um, thank you very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram for more content. And uh, big love to Disneyland Paris cast members, they are the best. Bye!